Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to install Drupal on your local computer. So before you install Drupal on your local computer, you have to create a local server on your computer. For that, you have to use MAMP or SAMP. On Mac, you can have to use SAMP and on Windows, you can use SAMP and on Linux also you can use SAMP. So since I'm on a Mac, I'm using MAMP as my local server. You can see it here. This is a MAMP.info site. You can download the MAMP for Mac. And from ApacheFriends.org, from this site, you can download the SAMP for Windows and SAMP for Linux. After you download and install the local server on your computer, I just close this. On your computer you can install Drupal easily so now let's go and download Drupal I just download the Drupal I close this window and you can see Drupal is there on my desktop and I hope you have installed the map or SAM on your system so if it's a map in my case it's MAMP, go to MAMP folder and you can see a file called htdocs on Windows also you can see this file within SAMP htdocs double click on this and this is the file I mean this is a folder where you have to put all your files you want to see so here you can see all my all other sites WordPress, Drupal and also on so now we just drag and drop the file which we downloaded from the Drupal, Drupal core file just extract it from there. We don't need this. Just trash that. Okay. Now here it is. We just downloaded Drupal 6.1 latest version of Drupal. Okay. I just want to rename this. So I just uh, rename to Drupal New. Okay. This is because I have already one of the folder called Drupal here. So I just named to Drupal New. And when we open this Drupal and you can see the Drupal core files here and you can see a folder called sites and go inside there and you can see the two files within that which is all and default okay all and you can see when you open you can see there's nothing just a readme.txt and when you read the text you can see that this is for modules and themes so this is the folder where you have to install your custom modules and custom themes so when you open the default folder here also you can see there is nothing other than setting default.settings.php okay this is very important file we just copy this okay we just copy this one and paste it here and rename these to just settings.php settings.php and we create new folder here called files okay that's it here we that's all we have to do here we have we don't need to do anything more with the Drupal core file just simple and next thing we gotta do is create our new database so here I have already downloaded the map so of map and you can see this is the front page or the start page of map and you can see here PHP my admin go to the PHP my admin and create new database so I just call a new database, you can call it anything, I just call Drupal new and create that and you can see that our new database has been created, see our Drupal, new Drupal, Drupal new, it's here. So next we have to create a new Drupal database or the user, so we just create a new user, just called Drupal new. And here on host you have to choose local as local host and you can choose any password. Okay. I choose 
create password and here you don't need to do anything here for the privileges check all and click go and now you can see you have added a new user go to our database and our Drupal new is there on our <coughs> we have just created our new database and uh, new user okay the next thing we gotta do is just typing our new Drupal site which is Drupal new and you can see our new Drupal is there just click Drupal in English if you want to install in any other language download the language version you want and then install it okay here we have to create our database name which we just created this is Drupal new and database username also I created same Drupal new and the password and here you can see the advanced options and you don't need to do anything there just click save and continue and you can see that fail to connect to your Drupal new at local using password okay it means something is wrong maybe let's put our password again Save and continue. Okay, that's it because I just mistake my password. Now here we can set up your site name. Okay, we just create profile new. Okay, this is your site name and you can put your email address. Okay, here I just put my email address at okay this is my email address and you can set a username here okay I just click as admin and you can create a password and it should be long enough or strong enough and you have to clean URL enable and check for updates automatically okay default time save and continue and you can see everything is done congratulations Drupal has been successfully installed you may now visit your new site boom that's it so easy for installing Drupal now let's go to our administrator and you can see everything is there or create new page and you can create new page and story when you go to click here new page there is nothing just a normal text uh, editor and there is nothing like a CK editor. If you want to see CK editor or CK finder such modules, how to install and set up, check my other tutorial for installing CK editor and CK finder. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.